flycatcher in the net, probably a dusky or a Hammond's flycatcher. Little did we know when we discovered the site that it's world class really in terms of the numbers of birds and the diversity of birds. It was really worthy of creating a long-term monitoring program and, and so we did. It's the terrain that defines the migratory route. The dry high desert bumps abruptly against evergreen forest on a distinct path that follows the ridge line. This is the jump off point for at least 70 different species of songbirds that have to leave the protective habitat of the forest to cross the arid Snake River Plain on their fall migration. You want to see why it's called a ruby crown kinglet? Yeah. That same arid plain generates warm air thermals that float up the mountains to the ridgeline. These updrafts provide lift for soaring birds of prey. And of course, the songbirds provide the prey. What you got? Sharp shinned hawk. According to observations on banded hawks, this young, sharp shinned female will probably spend the winter in western Mexico. But for now, she joins other sharp shinned, coopers, and red tailed hawks soaring above the ridgeline, following an instinctual, ancient migratory route. It's a moment of time in a dance that has gone on for centuries. Go to Mexico. One, two, three. Michelle Hicks. Like that. Idaho Fishing Game.